Hello everyone, in this video we're going to start to talk about loops and in particular for loops. What loops are, they are, are portions of code that execute over and over again. And the for loop is used when we want to execute a block of code for a known number of cycles through the loop. And I think it's, it's by far and away the most preferred and popular you know, type of loop. Um, because it, uh, it gives us uh, discrete control over how many times that code executes. And uh, so let's go ahead and get started with the for loop. Okay, here I've created a real short program. And again, the importing my stdio library so I can print to the screen. And then in the main function, the, the very first thing I do is I uh, introduce you to the for loop. And this is uh, how it starts off. We just uh, type in four, and then in, in between the parentheses are the values that are going to control this loop. Uh, there are three fields in here that we need to populate, and those are separated by semicolons. And the first thing we do is we uh, declare uh, the variable that's going to be incremented as the counter of for the, to count how many times this is looped and we set that value now we could set it to say 10 and then count down from 10 uh, but here we're going to set it to 0 and count up from 0 to 10 uh, next in the next field uh, we we compare that value to some limit now we could you could even create this as a constant somewhere else in our program it could be a variable and so we could uh, based on some condition somewhere else in the program, this loop might execute a different number of times. And so we could put a variable in there too. And, uh, and then control how many times this loop executes. And then next we have the incrementer. So every time this, at the, after, this after this loop is performed, this uh, the i is going to increment. And that, remember the increment operator just adds one to it. So what this is going to do is it's going to loop 10 times. Uh, again, I could set uh, this to, to 10 here. And uh, let's see, make this uh, greater than, let's say, 0. And I'll do exactly the same thing as long as I put minus minus here. OK, actually, I'll, let, let's just keep it there. Uh, I haven't tested that, but that should work. <laughs> and so the only thing that, that's actually going to execute in this for loop is we're going to print to the screen for loop count equals, and then I'm going to print out the value of this i here. And uh, and so in this case, it should actually count down from 10 to 1 um, because uh, I'm decrementing down from 10 to, to, uh, to 1. And then once it exits the for loop, I'm printing on the screen uh, out of for loop now, just so you can see uh, that it exits out of that loop eventually. So let's go ahead and hit build. And oops, I already have something running here. Ah, that's when I was I did it before counting up. You can see <laughs> uh, how this code was originally. It counted up from zero to nine, and then exited. Uh, let's go ahead and get out of that. And let's run again. And there you go. Now that now since we changed the code around, it's counting down from 10 to 1, and then it's e exiting. And so that gives us a lot of flexibility. Um, uh, you know, uh, this value here, since it's incrementing, decrementing, we can use for loops to step through arrays and just use this this i as the index value for the array, and it can be uh, used to sort uh, things. Uh, which Maybe we'll go over later, but it's a it's a really useful tool. Um, one other thing, uh, there is is a, another use for this, and I'm just going to highlight this and hit uh, Control E so you can see it better. Uh, if we if we uh, create a for loop and don't put any values in in here, uh, that will create a forever loop. <laughs> or an infinite loop and if we do this and and especially uh, uh, in control systems and stuff we might have these as our as our main control loop um, and uh, this code in here will just loop forever 
Uh, and uh, just want to be real careful that uh, if you do this, that you do want that loop to execute forever. So uh, I'm not going to hit it, uh, hit run now, but uh, just trust me, this will loop forever, whatever we have in here. So uh, that's about it. I hope you liked this video. Please subscribe, and we'll talk again soon.